In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a 3D Austin rose. You will need a polystyrene ball about 3.5 cm. Cut the polystyrene ball in half and carve out the middle. Leave about 2 to 3 mm away from the edge. The carving does not need to be perfect, as it will be covered with the paste. Cut a 20 gauge wire in half and bend it halfway. Find the middle of the polystyrene and poke through the wire. Once the wire gone through the polystyrene, twist the wire together. For the middle of the flower, you will need a round cutter same size as the polystyrene. I am using Ringshaw flower and modeling paste. Knead the paste until soft and pliable. Put loads of corn flour into the mold and press firmly onto the paste. Use the round cutter and cut out the center of the flower. Using some edible glue and stick the center of the flower onto the half polystyrene ball. And then use the destined tool and lightly press down the middle of the flower. You will need a round cutter about 3 cm for the first few layers. There are some teaspoons on the side. They are for forming the petals later. Cut out 10 circles and keep them soft. You can keep the circles in an airtight bag or in an airtight container. I put mine in between two sheets of acetate. Use the ball tool half on the foam, half on the paste and thin the circle. Continue to thin the rest of the circles. Put the circles onto the spoons and leave them to dry for about 20 minutes. Once the circles can hold the shape, they are ready to be used. Put some edible glue onto the paste and stick it to the polystyrene. Make the top of the paste slightly curl towards the center of the flower. Put some edible glue onto the flower and stick the next petal on. Continue the steps around the flower. It's about 5 petals on each layer here.
Same again, I'm using a larger cutter to cut out more circles for the petals. I am using an apple tray to form the curve for the petals. Using the ball tool half on the foam, half on the paste to thin the petal, and then use a larger ball tool thin the petal from the top edge towards the middle. Leave the petals for about 20 minutes again. They are ready when they can hold their shapes. For these two layers, I have cut 12 circles, 6 circles for each layer. The flower can be finished at this stage. You just need to add a calyx for it. But if you want a fuller flower, then continue the steps and add more paste for the petals. Same again, continue the steps for the fuller flower. I have cut six circles for the outer layers here. You will need to bend a hook and hang the flower upside down to dry. For the calyx, I have mixed some green food colouring with the same flower modelling paste, wrote it out very thin and cut with the cutter like the one in the video. with the ball tool, add some edible glue and poke the wire through from the middle. Hang it upside down until it is fully dried. You can also use this Austin Rose mold to decorate the side of the cake or on the top of the cupcakes. All my products are available to purchase on my website www.ccake.com, link on the comments below. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for new videos and updates. Thank you for watching.